So I realized that we never went over how to take the Bohr models that you know how to make and show molecules in different compounds using a Bohr model. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now on your worksheet, you have to do a couple different compounds. I'm not going to show you any of the ones from the worksheet because there's only three and only two of those are compounds, but we will go over how to do fluorine. So here is the, hold on, there. Here's the chemical formula for fluorine. That would really just be like fluorine with another fluorine bonded to it. In order to do this, we will need my friend and yours, La Tabla Periotica. We find fluorine, there it is, we see it's number nine. It's got an atomic mass of 19. However, for this Bohr model, we're just going to go with the electrons and then we'll just use plus and N for the neutrons. So we still need to know how many neutrons. So we still have a atomic number of nine, atomic mass of 19. So when we go to make our Bohr model for fluorine, we'll do nine plus for the nine protons, 19, so that's 10 neutrons and then we'll just start showing our our orbitals our shells how i like to do this if you've got access to colors you show them different colors just makes it pretty let's go ahead and do blue so the first shell can have two electrons so we'll put one two that leaves it with seven more so we'll make another shell nice and big oh yeah that looks super uneven great work one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you'll notice I made this shell a big over here and you're like, oh, it's because he's, he's a fool. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. We still have another fluorine and we gotta show this bond. This is a covalent bond because fluorine versus fluorine, who's gonna win? That's right, fluorine. They're gonna share this electron. On our next one, how we show the sharing of electron is by overlapping their outermost electron shell. Perfect and great. And this is where using a separate color will come in really helpful. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and switch to a different, no, no, redo that. Switch to a different color real quickly. We'll use the green or the red. Yeah, that'll really stand out. So now we'll show the other there. Now it's easier to see, right? Nice and big and overlappy. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons in the outermost shell, just like we had over here. Then we have a little bit more inner shell. That one's got two. Right, just like here, nine protons, 10 neutrons. And as you can see, we've got these overlapping orbitals. This is all you would need to draw, but I'm just going to circle here to show you that we are sharing those two electrons. Again, when you do it, we use that undo button again. This is what you should look like if you were showing me fluorine, covalently bonded to fluorine. However, you've got slightly different ones that you'll be showing me using the worksheet. Hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for watching.